The demand for CCWs across the United States is growing at an unparalleled rate. So today we're going to talk a little bit about the national demand for CCWs and how it also relates to the state of California. Thanks for joining us today on Shoot of the Series. My name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education and Training, and we'd sure like to thank all of our subscribers for sticking with us. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button as well as the like and the share, but also hit that little bell so you can get instant notifications and never miss an episode. So today we want to talk a little bit about the national state of CCWs in the U.S., and it's a big subject because every state is different. So when we're talking about it, we're talking about the much bigger picture. And before we really get into that, we need to really define our terms because there are four real terms that we've got to deal with here of the different types of carry that are the classifications. Now, the first one would be known as constitutional carry or unrestricted carry. And this is where a state does not even issue them. If you're a citizen, if you are not a felon, and if, as long as you're not on a prohibited list, you're free to carry without having to get a permit from any local government. There's a, and this, this list is growing. The second type would be known as shall issue. Shall issue is states like Arizona um, issue CCWs, but they do not require a good cause letter. You don't have to show good cause you basically just apply, and just about everybody who applies get ones, as long as you're not a felon or in a prohibited category. Now, in California, we have what's known as May issue, and May issue requires good cause to be shown. And some counties are easy, some counties are hard. We're fortunate to live in Riverside County, where it's considered one of the easier counties compared to, say, L.A. or San Francisco. The final category is the no issue, and there are still some places where you cannot get a CCW. Very few, I want to say Hawaii is the only one. Now, all that being said, we're not talking about open carry, we're talking about concealed carry. That's a whole different ball game, a whole different video there. But when we're looking at CCWs on a national level, there's approximately 17 million people that carry a pistol every day is part of their everyday carry routine. And for some people, it's a matter of just grabbing your keys, grabbing your phone, putting on your pistol, and going out the door. No big deal. If you look at the scale in terms of who has them, California comes in very low on the list, probably in the lowest 10 states. And that's because we have three-tenths of 1% who actually carry. The hard number that works out to is just about 100,000 people in California. Now, the other side of the spectrum would be a place like Florida, which has over 1.7 million CCWs. The real eye-opener is the place like Alabama. Alabama has 22% of its citizens that have CCW. So Florida may have more on paper, but we're looking at per capita you're more likely to be in a room with, with people with CCWs in Alabama than you are necessarily in Florida. Now, if you take California and New York out of the averages because we are so low, the national average is about 7%. But because you've got such a wide swing between 0.2 tenths of a percent up to 22%, it, it swings wildly. They're, the national average is going to come in pretty low. Now, let's talk a little bit about the fees. The average fee in the United States runs about $67 when you total up all the states. The uh, lowest CCW is going to cost you $10 in the state of South Dakota, but the most expensive CCW to get is in New York City, and that's going to cost you $340. So you can see there's a wide range there also. Um, another thing to talk about is the background checks. You know, every time you make a purchase uh, for a firearm, even if it's for multiple firearms, you're going to go through um, the NICS check. And last year, they ran 26.6 million checks on people, checking backgrounds. And some of those were also denied for people they found to be felons, 
illegal aliens, other prohibited categories. So when we talk about CCWs, um, and when special people talk about whether or not you know California is fair or not, it really doesn't matter because CCWs are different with every state. Every state sets its own regulations, and it is what it is. If you're going to live in California and you want to carry legally, you're going to have to abide by the laws and the rules. So anyway, we're hoping that clears a little bit of stuff up and creates a good discussion for you all. On behalf of Shooter the Series and Firearms Education and Training, I'm Ed Thorell. Uh, don't forget to check us out on Patreon if you want to help us out. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching our videos, and if you enjoy watching them and want to see more of them, you can also consider come checking us out on our Patreon channel. For as little as $2 a month, you'll have access to the blogs, you'll have access to extra original videos, discounts on clothing, and also some giveaways. So come check us out.